Welcome to Art Block, the weekly show where we normally talk about various creative mediums, but not today. Today I'll be covering some tips and tricks on how to use your drawing tablet, as well as some of the different types of tablets you can choose from. Just as a quick note, I will be using the Wacom brand tablets as my main example, since most other brands work almost the exact same way, and it's the brand that I have the most experience with. So, where to start? How does one learn to use a drawing tablet? Well, for a first, we need to establish the difference between a drawing tablet and a graphics tablet. A drawing tablet is a pressure-sensitive tablet that comes with a pen and hooks up to your computer via USB cable. Graphics tablets are usually the same way, except they have screens that you can draw directly on. This video focuses mostly on using USB drawing tablets, since the drawing tablets can require a bit more getting used to. The first thing you need to do when you're just learning how to use a tablet is to practice drawing basic shapes. Admittedly, one of the hardest things when going from drawing directly on paper to drawing on a tablet is the disconnect you feel in your hand in comparison to what your eyes see. As you become a bit more accustomed to the tablet, it's good to start trying out some rough sketches. Depending on where you're best at drawing, just take it slowly and work your way around it. While you're drawing, it's best to keep the muscles in your hands nice and loose as you sketch. I and many other artists have become somewhat accustomed to having our hands on the keyboards when we're working, so it may be a good idea to get into the habit of using the keyboard or the shortcuts labeled on the tablet. When it comes to learning more refined skills like doing line art and doing more detailed drawings, it can be a bit difficult. One trick that you can use early on is to draw your detailed drawings on paper, then practice doing line art on your tablet in whatever program you're using. Depending on the size of your tablet, you might find that doing really detailed and on-point line art might be a bit more time-consuming, especially when you're using a smaller tablet. I happen to be lucky enough to use a Wacom Intuos Pro, however for the sake of this video, I decided to pull out my old tablet and my current one just to show some of the differences in the pressure sensitivity. Of course when you're using a tablet, you don't want to push yourself too much. Frequent practice will definitely improve your skills, however if you're not a frequent illustrator, then you might give yourself carpal tunnel if you stress yourself. The last thing I'm going to recommend is that you start small and work your way up. If you can, I would recommend starting with a lower grade tablet such as an Intuos Draw. Larger tablets tend to be a bit more difficult to use when you're just learning how to use a drawing tablet, and even though certain things might be easier, starting off with a larger tablet can make things even more difficult in the long run. Plus, depending on how frequently you use your tablet, it might be better just to get a smaller tablet if art is just a hobby. And that's about it for today. If you have any tips on how to use a drawing tablet, make sure to drop them in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you subscribed and hit the bell so you could be notified of future episodes. Also make sure to check out my Twitter and DeviantArt where I interact with fans outside of the show. All links are available in the description. Thank you for watching. This is Spirit, signing off.